going to grind these bushings. These are uh, drill bushings, uh, just common uh, drill bushings. What we want is uh, we want this hard cylinder. Um, so, but there's some little nicks, you know, from shipping damage, you know, where there's a bunch of these rolling around together and these hard edges are bumping into them. So what I want to do is I just want to grind this OD. So we're going to do some cylindrical grinding in the surface grinder. Um, so first thing we got here is this is a, uh, a Pratt & Whitney tapered lathe mandrel. So this has about a half a thousandth taper from one end to the other. And it's just for this kind of thing. It's, you got to get the right end in there, Mr. Wizard. So usually they're marked plus and minus. In this case, they're not. Let's try the other end. Okay, so this is a small end. Hello, right? Um, and this is, has a nice half inch bore in it here. And we're just going to put that in and just kind of seat that. And then I'm going to tap it on the, uh, I'm going to tap it on something over here. My handy anvil. Okay, to really seat that thing in there. Okay. So the idea is, um, this is a cylindrical grinding setup made by a company called Atco, uh, who actually makes these for Herrig. And uh, I've had this thing for a while. I had to rebuild it a little bit. It needed some new points and whatnot. So it's got centers here and you can move the centers back and forth. They've got it set now, but uh, so we won't go through that procedure, but uh, basically you're, you're gonna um, set the center distance so that it'll hold your mandrel. And this has a cute little retracting feature. We'll seat that in here. Okay, we want a, we want a little bit of pressure on the points. Also, I'm gonna get some, um, some lube and lube these points. Um, some high pressure lube that put in there uh, before we get started here. But the idea is, is, and it's plugged in now, it's got a little motor and it just turns this thing and then we're just gonna traverse across this and, and grind that surface. Um, it's pretty straightforward. And you can actually make one of these, they're not super hard to make. Uh, Robin Renzetti made a real nice one, it's very simple. Clamps in a vise, you can do all kinds of uh, neat stuff with it. Uh, this just happens to be a commercial unit because I'm really lazy about, build, about building this kind of stuff. I just want to use it. So, uh, all right, let me get some lube going. And then uh, we got a diamond up here. We're going to dress the wheel. And then we're going to kiss this and uh, see what it looks like. All right, so we're dressing the wheel here. I've already cleaned it up mostly. This is the last couple of passes here. pretty good. Alright, so I'm, I'm going to back out of here and get out of the way. This is a Blue Molly Extreme Pressure Lube. Get that seated nicely. Make sure I'm going the right way. Give her a spin. Okay, pretty close here. All right, so I'm going to center up under the wheel. Just kind of, this is eyeball centric here. Pretty good. I lock the table. Now I'm going to move my stop up, my table stop up, until it touches the uh, the hard stop. Then I'll lock that down. There's my uh, hot rod neighbor there. Okay, and then what I want to do is come off of the stop and then come back to the stop and gently stop against it. That way I know I'm against, I'm against it correctly. And you know what, I want to I wanna back that off a little bit. I want to be right there. I didn't, I didn't like my centering, so I'm, I'm changing it a little bit. Okay, and I'm going to come down and uh, let's see if I can get a better shot of that. Right, fire this up. Get my big head in there. I'm just going to creak it down. And this white background kind of helps me. You can see there's a little 
there's a little step in the uh, this helps you get the bushing started so I want to make sure that I'm on the, the larger diameter looks like it's running nice and true trick is to get your head just at the right spot where you can see the gap, the true gap. I'm real close now. There it goes. Oh, uh, let's just take a light skim across there, see what we get. pretty good. Okay, it's not cleaned up all the way, so I'm going to come down. Uh, I just came down uh, I don't know, a couple of tents. Now the sparks here are going da 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 that mean, So what that means to me is that it's not cutting all the way around. Let me, uh, I'll change the shot so you guys can see this from a different angle because it's, it's kind of cool. Oh, you see the sparks are doing that. So we're not quite cleaning up all the way around. So some people, they like to plunge grind uh, cylindrical stuff which means uh, you start in the middle of the part and sometimes you have to do that depending on say you have a, a reduced center diameter or something like that so there's reasons to to, to do that uh, for this straight cylindrical stuff I kind of pretend this is a lathe or a, a centerless grinder and I cut from one side to the other kind of like you would uh, if it was a lathe or a plain cylindrical grinder. You can do both. There's uh, there's no hard and fast rule. Uh, well, then we'll stop it here for a sec. Yeah, okay, that's an. Huh. Yeah, it's not quite cleaned up all the way around. So let's do it. Give it a little more. Okay, so I'm still not sparking when I touch that first part, so uh, I know I got, uh, I'm going to go across a little faster this time, and I'll, we'll see what the finish looks like. I may uh, turn some coolant on too. All right, so we got a steady stream there, or pretty steady. Now you can really see that end bit here. Oh, it's got an interesting pattern on it. Jumped off. Actually, let's uh, drop down to the. Uh, there's two speeds you can set it on, so I just dropped down to the lower uh, the lower speed. Let's try that. See if that uh, helps the finish. Couple more tents. All right, so now it's just catching that. Uh,
bark out. Okay, I'm just going to come back across on the same the same depth setting. This uh, wheel might be a little a little bit too hard here for this thing. Yeah, it's got a funny swirl in it that I don't like. It'll come out. I have to take it out and have a look at it. Oop. That's the problem <laughs> with Blue Molly. It gets on everything. <laughs> Never fails. Never fails. All right, we're going to take a little more off of that. All right, so we're just going to come back in to my stop, like so. Fire it up. Now I don't want to. I don't want to drop down just yet because. Uh, I don't know how good my stop was. It should be pretty good. Okay, so well, my pickup is excellent. So I got a light spark trail there. I wonder if my wheel positioning is uh, messing with me a little bit. Letting it spark out a little bit. Yeah, you know, I could back up a little bit. I think I'm going to back up just a just a taste to a slightly different spot and reset my all my stuff. I didn't like my. Uh, Okay, so now I just want to double check and make sure nothing bad's ha going to happen. All right. I'm just going to creak down. There we go. All right, that's a nice light cut. Uh, I think I like that finish better already. So I, I changed the position. I moved it this way. I think I was too too far ahead of the uh, the bottom of the wheel. Oh yeah, that's much better. So much for eyeball centricity, right? come down a little bit come back across so it's just like a lathe boys boys and girls except at the grinder so this is about 62 Rockwell here this steel they're pretty hard all right, it's almost cleaning up that little shoulder. I'm just checking the temperature, make sure it's not getting hot. I'm gonna come down a couple of tenths. There we go. All right, we're real close to killing that shoulder now. I don't really care about the diameter of these, just that they have a really good finish. Um, but if we did, you can uh, you can pull out and uh, get a good measurement on it without taking it out of the setup.
that pretty much gives me what I want there. A little bit warm. Alright, let's do the rest of these and uh, go from there. <laughs> 